Just to let you know, I thought of doing this video about two days ago, and ever since then I've been playing this game and remembering how much fun it actually is. Now, for me, running away to a small town and starting a farm has and still is a dream of mine, but i never really given it much thought because every single time I have those thoughts, it tends to lead to me having thoughts about mailing pipe bombs to certain political figures and writing a book about how everyone else is the crazy one. And if you ever wanted to play a game where you could do whatever you want, you're not going to find a better game than this one. And well, if I'm going to talk up this game so much the way ancient Greeks talk up gay orgies, I might as well tell you what the game actually is. I'm not going to go in depth with an explanation about this game because if you've never heard about this game before, you're either a special starfish living underneath a rock in some TV show, or you're that one guy in the Salem Witch Trials. It's a farming game where you manage your own farm and you definitely don't make any correlations to Jim Crow laws. I'm just saying. The game opens with you sitting at a desk and you get a letter from your grandpa saying something about owning a farm. So then you go and you start your own farm and that's kind of it. I can't really explain the game further than that because everyone's gameplay varies greatly and telling you about my gameplay would ruin a lot of the events and things that happen which really make the game special so it would be taking away the fun from your gameplay. If you really want an explanation I'd just try to pick up this game and play it. There's honestly no way I'm going to tell you it now. You meet some new people and you do your own thing. And I'm going to go over all the simple things without caring about the details because I would rather watch my kids grow up than spend 50 years working on this video. When picking a farm, you need to know what you want to do the most. If you want to fish, you should pick a river or beach farm. And if you want to mine more, the mountain farm would be best for you. This allows you to be very creative in your play style and basically has you have a boost to whatever you want to do most. But it pretty much puts you into the menu and tells you to just And this is the part of the video where I tell you to go use the Wikipedia because playing this game without the Wikipedia is like Helen Keller playing Frogger. I'm not saying you need the Wikipedia to play this game, but not using it led to me regretting a lot of my starting decisions that I didn't even know how to make. I mean, I've never seen a game saved by a wiki as much as this one because you have no clue what you even want to do in this game that you've never played before. Then there's the people who've played this game for hundreds upon hundreds of hours, and they sit there in your ear telling you how to play this game correctly by doing this certain thing or always be checking these things and blah blah blah. It's all these kind of things, and it really reminds me of the scene from The Great Gatsby. And, uh, yep, this one right here. In all seriousness, it's an avalanche of information at the beginning of the game, but eventually when you start to understand it, it gets exponentially more fun until it feels like you're doing crack. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Oh, there it is. Alright. It's so fucking awesome to have a game like this to where there's so many different options that the Wikipedia is necessary to play the game. But finding out all the cool shit that you can do in this game is astronomically incredible. I've played this game for a good amount of time, and I haven't even come close to finishing the most important step, which is the community center. This is the overall goal of the game, other than having fun, but I'll talk about that later because I know how much you love my rants about how video games are supposed to be fun, right? Not like it's the point of the fucking series now, isn't it? Um, to build a community center, you're going to need to collect a bunch of items from around the game, including all different activities such as mining, fishing, and foraging. You also need to farm, but that was a given, so I wasn't going to mention it. Now, you could play this game and figure out how to get every item through trial and error with hundreds upon hundreds of hours of gameplay, or you can hear me out and just... I also want to mention something else about this game, and that is the townspeople. They all have unique personalities to them, but they always feel forced and simulated because all they do is act in that one singular personality. They only have one attribute to themselves, and it feels very stale after a while. That's until you develop friendships with them, and then they become these characters that are completely in-depth and have a lot of personality to them. Yep, 
characters and friendships that you can form in a video game while you forget about the ones you've made in real life. You know, for a game that is about escaping reality, these characters and issues are a little too real for this game. I've been through a lot of games, and I have never connected with characters as much as I have with these ones. I'm not going to go into details, but if you really want to know, then you can just... I'm impressed at the amount of effort that was put into these characters in the rest of the game. It goes so in depth and it's flawless with its execution, and it really made for an experience that I really enjoyed. Not only is this game fun, but I really feel better after playing it. I also want to throw in that this game was made by only one person, trying to find a replacement to the drug that is Harvest Moon by basically fixing it and adding in his own elements onto the game. Now granted, this isn't a copy of the game, it's just very similar, so don't conclude me saying this as an accusation. He released the game only when he thought it was perfect. He redeveloped it many times, spending 4 years and about 10 hours a day on the project. You know, I'm actually surprised that he didn't work himself to death like the sweatshop worker that has to make minion plushies or the hedge funds when Redditors make them lose millions of dollars. I know what I'm about to say is probably not going to surprise a lot of people, and is probably going to come off as controversial too, but I'm going to tell you to not mid-max in this game. And I know that the mighty Boren might disagree with my statement, but I really think that you should play the game the way it was intended, not focusing on a ton of the details of the game and money, and focusing on having fun more than that. It's the way that this game should be experienced. Video games should be relaxing, and this should be used for recreational purposes, and you shouldn't stress yourself out by using spreadsheets and lists and, well, even the... At en.wikipedia.org Look, I know I've been promoting the Wikipedia for this game, but you really should only use it sparingly, if at all. I'm one of those people who can't stand when video games are used as a competition. I see that these people are not having fun playing video games, and it really gets on my nerves when they play these video games for a purpose that isn't fun, and then I have to question their sanity because all they do is complain about how unfun it is, and yet they still play it. And I'm looking at you guys right there. Yeah, yeah, you guys know who you are. You know how much pain you guys cause, and yet you still exist. That's kind of like me. And it will come to no surprise that I've been a big advocate for games being a form of art instead of a way to make money. And this game is the definition of that. It's a fun experience where fun is the goal of the game, and achieving it is always easy, but never given to you. You have to earn your success in this game, but it's never without help. And the developer wanted this game to be a real world message, and I think that's it. To have fun, the way you want to have fun. And not because you have to, but because you want to. Look, and I know that there's no haha funny words or insults for this game, mostly because I didn't want to start a war with a whole platform. And while I'm willing to get in some batting practice in this case, I really should be working on other things such as schoolwork, video games, or, well, even this video. In all seriousness, I couldn't find a flaw in this game, so sorry if my humor is a little bit different this time, but whipping the people that make my videos really makes my arm tired, so I'm letting them have a break for the day. <laughs> Just kidding. You know this is a one-man show, right, Griffin? Miles, go fuck yourself. <laughs>